are inherited. They breed true. Humans encourage the reproduction of some varieties and discourage the reproduction of others. The variety selected for eventually becomes abundant. The variety selected against becomes rare, may be extinct. But if artificial selection makes such changes in only a few thousand years, what must natural selection, working for billions of years, be capable of? The answer is all the beauty and diversity in the biological world. That life evolved over the ages is clear from the changes we've made in the beasts and vegetables, but also from the record in the rocks. The fossil evidence speaks to us unambiguously of creatures that were once present in enormous numbers and that have now vanished utterly. There are far more species that have become extinct than exist today. They're the terminated experiments in evolution. These guys, for example, the trilobites, appeared 600 million years ago. They were around for 300 million years. They're all gone. There's none left. But in those old rocks, there are no fossils of people or cattle. We've evolved only recently. Evolution is a fact, not a theory. It really happened. That the mechanism of evolution is natural selection was the great discovery of Charles Darwin and Alfred Russell Wallace. Here's how it works. Nature is prolific. There are many more creatures that are born than can possibly survive. So those varieties, which are by accident less well adapted, don't survive. Or at least they leave fewer offspring. Now, mutations, sudden changes in heredity, are passed on, they breed true. The environment selects those occasional mutations which enhance survival. And the resulting series of slow changes in the nature of living beings is the origin of new species. Well, many people were scandalized by the ideas of evolution and natural selection. Our ancestors looked at the intricacy and beauty of life and saw evidence for a great designer. The simplest organism is a far more complex machine than the finest pocket watch. And yet pocket watches don't spontaneously self-assemble or evolve in slow stages on their own from, say, uh, grandfather clocks. A watch implies a watchmaker. So there seemed to be no way in which atoms could spontaneously fall together and create, say, a dandelion. The idea of a designer is an appealing and altogether human explanation of the biological world. But as Darwin and Wallace showed, there's another way. Equally human, and far more compelling. Natural selection, which makes the music of life more beautiful, as the eons pass.